Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Time uh, to show you another, yeah, small update, but it's not so small. This time it's all about software because uh, Guido was playing. No, he was not playing. <laughs> it's actually pretty serious now. Um, the CW decoder is now working and uh, the Kia is now working perfectly. Watch this. Wow, even the weak signal is being decoded. Great job, Kilo. Okay, now let's look for a free frequency and let's demonstrate the Kia. And just look, even this is being decoded. Damn it. Okay. That's all for now. Ah, uh, yeah, no, not, no, that's not all for now. There's also, <coughs> excuse me, um, right now. Then we have semi QSK. <coughs> Let me just show you that. So if you are annoyed or disturbed by, <coughs> excuse me, if you're annoyed or um, disturbed by anything that happens between your call, um, yeah, you can switch it off now. And this comes in conjunction with, where is it? Okay, I think I'm, yeah, TX delay, which now uh, gives you the possibility to delay the active RF out um, between uh, PTT signal, which uh, will be um, available at the MOSI pin, um, can defined can be defined active high or low doesn't matter. Uh, this way you can um, drive a PA and even account for a relay switch um, in case you you activate this. It will automatically activate um, semi QSK. So, uh, yeah, that's all news for now. The re receiver is uh, there. Have been some improvements, like bug fixes, um, for example, uh, some some gaps that were there in the PLL. Now it's getting really, really adult. <laughs> Quite impressive now. Uh, yeah, so just wanted to share that with you all. And uh, yeah, I hope I will hear you on band. Stay safe. 73, good luck. Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November.